ओम ज्ञानति मृंदस्य ज्ञानांजनाशलाकय चक्षुर मेतम येने तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः नमः ओम विष्णुपादाय कृष्णपृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्तिवेदांत स्वामीनि दीनामि नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषन्यवादी पाश्चात्य देशकारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्री वासादिगा और भक्तरम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे यस सो वेलकम वंस अगेन टुडे यू नो तो दिस इज दिस इज अ रिपीट क्लास एनी वेज बट आई आई ट्राई टू यू नो कैप्चर द एसेंस ऑफ द एंटायर फर्स्ट सेशन इन इन आई थिंक मे बी अराउंड सेवेंटी सेवेंटी फाइव मिनट्स दिस इज जनरली ए टू आवर सेशन बिकॉज इट हैज लॉट ऑफ मटेरियल but uh, we will we will go through you know some of the unnecessary one you know little faster and i also you know generally uh, you know appreciate if it is interactive from your side as well uh, if you have any questions you can either put it on the chat window or can keep it down we can take you know uh, the questions you know if we if they are not relevant to this discussion maybe towards the end of this but any questions we will will try to look at you know immediately as well uh also i think uh, yeah so so maybe we'll start here uh, i'll just give you a quick uh, you know overview of what we are trying to do in in all these sessions so one is uh so there are there are you know five or seven i would say key themes from bhagavad gita so while the entire bhagavad gita will will take some time uh, for us to read i, I think this is the capsule uh from you know bhagavad gita to just take up the key relevant ones if we don't have time to read all the 18 chapters so this is the essence from maybe chapter 2 some chapter from chapter 3 from some from chapter 10 so it's like that it's not you know verse by verse study right now we'll do that after the end of this few sessions so today we will discuss the pursuit of happiness and what is going wrong in that and tomorrow which is the sunday we will be discussing who am i which is discovering our real identity uh, trying to see some scientific you know studies around ourselves and uh, maybe take it you know from there and then the rest of the sessions anyways will follow with more you know uh, learning and information so today we i think uh, we are trying to see what basically uh, is the pursuit uh, and how how lot of people actually are trying this now i think if i had if i had to ask this question i think you would already know the answer like what people in general want you know to become happy what is you know uh, what is that they are trying to to do and if if any of you want to answer you know please feel free to answer uh, either on on audio or or on chat window you know anything will be fine so what are people doing trying trying to be happy and i'm saying people when i say you know it is people very close to you people you know in and around you including you know yourself so what are what are we trying to do to become happy what is our current uh, i would say program or process to be happy anybody wants to volunteer have a healthy lifestyle uh, healthy body healthy mind and uh, also have a comfortable living correct correct so that is yeah that that that's a great you know start and uh, yeah and we need healthy body anyways for you know any other uh, pursuit uh, so that that is good that is great anything else which we are trying to do what is the most of our let's say days time is spent on like the majority of our time goes where or or like top 2 3 activities or, or things work around family yeah. yeah right right so yes i think relationship money uh therefore basically uh what we try to do is uh while while our goal you know of life is i mean generally if you ask anyone what is the goal of your life uh you you know i mean i struggled to get an answer 
uh, even you know for example some people ask me also back what is the goal of your life and uh, you know there is no definite goal but i think in everything we do we try to derive you know pleasure or joy or happiness or at least we want the outcome to result into happiness that's i think the the consensus view i i don't think anybody would differ at least on that i think the question then comes is should one you know must experience suffering before happiness what do you say theory of relativity it says yes you know you will realize you're happy only if you go through suffering so you know you can say that yes if you have suffered before then you can experience happiness right that is true that is true. and that is the the common place uh, you know understanding in the sense that we feel that somebody who has struggled in life can enjoy the same you know thing much better than somebody who has not suffered which is reality of this world but the moment we think about like and that is the reason the reason for that is the duality which exists in on the material plane which is and, and we'll discuss the material plane and spiritual planes and all the other things as well but so if i were to ask it the other way if you are to enjoy mango juice do you have to drink kerala juice before that i i think answer would be no right i don't think you know you start that you know okay give me first karela juice then i will you know have mango juice so that is not a choice right sometimes the karela juice comes you know involuntarily somewhere from somewhere else before our mango juice is ready but we don't actually ask for karela juice so so definitely so therefore we are not trying to to look for suffering to be happy it is happening uh, due to multiple things and uh, and therefore so so on on like as per bhagavad gita one must not experience suffering to be happy so that is you know the the take away from bhagavad gita and we'll discuss again there because currently we are on a plane of duality and that is why we actually have to you know kind of think of it like suffering is important in life so let us quickly do this uh what is different between humans and animals what do you think is you know the commonality and differences between humans and animals so you know if if you want me to say like what is the common things both of us do yeah what the food so we eat sleep mate like animals but the power of introspection is in humans yeah so you actually hit the nail absolutely so that is what you know hitopadesh also says so what hitopadesh says is ahar nidra bhayam etunam cha samanya metat pashu bhir naranam dharmo hi tesham adiko vishesho dharmena hi na pashu bhi samana so the first line it clearly mentions ahar nidra bhay maithuna these are the common activities and we'll we'll discuss that in english as well and what is difference is dharma between human beings and animals and dharma is not you know uh, like offering agarbatti that is not dharma so we'll we'll discuss what is actually dharma of human life so in english if you convert or translate this what it will appear is sleeping eating enjoying and defending so ahar eating ahar nidra sleeping bhay is defending and naithunam is enjoying including you know mating so we all do all these four things which i don't think you know you don't you don't need to listen to me to to know this you know like animals actually sleep better than human beings that much i think i hope you would agree like we all need sophisticated you know stuff to sleep uh, but like you also would have seen lot of animals sleeping on the street and uh, all kinds of you know medicines being taken by human to remain you know like peacefully sleep then eating again animals actually eat 
what you know naturally is is known for them i think human beings experiment a lot we need all you know variety in eating which is not nothing wrong in it right? but i think we actually have complicated you know test t- taste compared to animals enjoying again i think uh, enjoying for human being comes with lot of complications right relationships and uh, heartbreaks and depression etc uh, and and so i think so human beings go through a lot of anxiety and so so yeah i think uh, animals again i think they do much better uh, than what you know humans can do and lastly defending so you know we have our own you know set of weapons and locks and insurance policies and you know bank balance to feel you know safe and secure and out of fear i think you know we do a lot of those stuff animals also have claws now i think the differences between humans and animal sometimes you know these are quoted which is reasoning questioning but that's also not true i think you know animals also have you know limited reasoning uh, and if you for example you know if if you give food to a dog you know almost every day basis then you know he'll you know he'll look you know look up for you and and will come back to wherever you you know you you stay to take that food so they have you know they have that much reasoning and uh, but they use all the all this process for the the four four things which we just discussed right ahar nidra bhay and mithun then how are human being special so i think what makes human being special is dharma dharma is a b c d here a b c d is ability for higher inquiry b is for bliss or which you can say access to a higher level of bliss c is the choice and d is determination so we will go through each of them very quickly now if you look at ability to you know for higher inquiry no only human beings can do this introspection which is what you know namo you said that you know you like only humans can think who am i why am i suffering that is i think the biggest question right which only human beings can ask I, you know a dog on the street or you know uh, a a goat to be you know uh, killed or or a chicken in the chicken farm you know they don't know like what is what's going on with them and they can't ask this question that is the biggest difference between humans and animals that we can question our existence and the purpose of life right and uh, so that is that is one now if at human life if someone wants to were to make inquiry because human human life is considered as a as a junction uh, where you know you can t- either you know go to a higher level of life or higher form of life or one can come back to animal kingdom and people who continuously don't inquire or basically who don't follow their dharma of human being then they you know degrade slowly slowly into animal life and i think so so, so you were familiar with this you know this famous atato brahma jigyasa right so this is from vedanta sutra second is bliss so a is ability uh, for higher inquiry b is bliss so this is again uh, ability or you can say facility for a higher level of bliss or happiness so there is a difference between sukh and ananda in english it's is difficult to actually communicate that but sukha is a limited period right of peace or lack of distress ananda is intense you know joy or you know like deep or intense joy so that is gener- sukha is generally con- con- accompanied with indriya sukha तो इंद्रियों से जो आनंद प्राप्त होता है वो सुख है एंड आनंद इज समथिंग मोर इंटरनल सो ह्यूमन बीइंग्स एक्चुअली हैव एबिलिटी टू एंजॉय हायर देन द पार्थिव रस और द और द बॉडीली यू नो लेवल हैप्पीनेस सो आई थिंक भगवत गीता इन इन चैप्टर 3 इट स्पीक्स इन द 42 वर्ड्स कृष्णा इज एक्चुअली एक्सप्लेनिंग हाउ द व्हाट इज द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन राइट of human body and so he is he is saying the working senses are superior to dull matter the dull matter is let's say you know this flesh or this bone that is dull matter but the senses karmendriyan jinko bolte hain they are 
सुपीरियर टू डल मैटर माइंड और मन इज इवन हायर देन सेंसेस एंड इंटेलिजेंस इज स्टिल हायर देन द माइंड एंड लास्टली द सोल और द सेल्फ इज इवन हायर देन द इंटेलिजेंस एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस हायर आर की द लेवल ऑफ हैप्पीनेस वन कैन डिराइव विल ऑल्सो बी हायर एंड हायर एंड हायर एज यू गो फ्रॉम डल मैटर टू द सोल so this is the for example let's say the the hierarchy the body and the senses so whatever we enjoy at sensory platform which you can argue is let's say when you are eating a very nice food right it gives satisfaction to uh, to the tongue to the belly and also you know you have your mind also is peaceful then let's say for example for those you who exercise they would know that you know the, like there is a runners high right which you get so you know the, the endorphins are released you know after a certain you know period of exercise so all this you can actually think about as bodily pleasure or a parthivaras or jadaras right which is which is what you get but parthivaras also we actually cannot enjoy you know to the fullest because one parthivaras is equal to the amount of pleasure one can generate if all your senses are perfect okay so nak aank tongue nose touch all the all should be perfect and we have access to unlimited resources right so for example whatever maybe our favorite food after one two three servings you know we would be done i think the incremental pleasure derived from the food you know it goes to negative from you know after touching zero so parthivaras has actually that limitation this better than parthivaras is swargiras so what actually is described in in some of the scriptures is swargiras is 10000 or 1000 times you know uh, superior to jadaras or parthivaras why you know why because in swarga for heavenly planets this gross body limitation is not there so you actually enjoy you know at the mind level the body is actually you know not not gross body you have the mental body actually uh so it may be difficult to visualize but think about it that whatever pleasure you derive in your mind they are always superior than the pleasure you actually derive from your through your senses or gross body so that is swargiya ras which actually derive you know from mind then you have intelligence which is superior to mind and then there is a brahman ras so brahman ras is once again you know 1000 times superior to swargiya ras because of the the level or the you know the the, the longevity of you know brahman ras is far higher compared to the uh, the swargiya ras and you derive generally brahman ras from knowledge from meditation uh, i don't know if you, if you are heard about uh, this delta gamma theta you know all those brain waves you know and 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 basically once you know somebody switches you know in in into the highest you know brain wave which is the lowest frequency wave you know you start deriving lot of pleasure so that is like kind of brahman ras so we we can discuss that later you know in, in more detail and the last is bhakti ras bhakti ras is nothing but you know at soul level what somebody enjoys and bhakti again i think the the problem with bhakti is if you go to see uh, what actually has been happening you know around us especially in india so like there lot of casual you know uh, uh, religious people correct and very very busy in rituals so that is not bhakti i'm just you know trying to qualify that you know today itself bhakti is a much much deeper intense full time process so when i say full time means you know internally full time not externally full time so we'll come to bhakti anyways in 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 one of our session so that is the hierarchy of bliss you know levels if we are you know staying at the bodily level parthivaras then we are missing out on the on the on the top 3 then comes choice so animals are programmed so tiger you know don't eat grass and cow don't eat meat they have a program you know we eat this we do this this is the so they, they don't have freedom of choice <clears throat> uh and uh, but human beings we have choice we have choice at every level 
and uh, uh, that is what you know differentiates you know human being from animals and also for example so so let's say there is a this famous story of you know gautam buddha so he was standing you know with his followers and a man you know who was very envious of buddha came in and you know started shouting you know bad words at him now gautam buddha smiled and didn't say anything the 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 followers were very angry agitated they wanted to you know kind of beat the other person up and the followers asked why didn't you say anything uh, you know to to buddha so then buddha you know made a very nice you know point he said if i give you 10000 rupees and you don't take it whom does it belong to so uh, and and so so that is the that is the choice right we have and uh, so yes we should use our power of choice and determination so a b c and d d is basically determination to do the first a b c that you do it on a consistently you know consistent basis so that is special uh, powers which only human beings have got compared to animals and 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 if we don't make this choice right like so this choice is offered to us through various uh i would say mediums you would get like and as a choice means choice to take up you know uh, or or take the ability to you know use that inquiry uh process also the choice you make on you know going to the or, or evolving at at a higher level if we don't do that then i think we are you know simply you know a polished two legged animal uh which is which is fine i think a lot of people are are very happy to be animal but the problem with this is that you keep degrading you know from human life that is i think the worst thing which one which can happen so i think uh, last i think example i use is like human life you know is is very precious and uh, uh while we see lot of people around us uh, there is lot of people like not people but there are lot of animals lot of insects a lot of universes filled with uh, you know very very different uh, kind of situations so here i think for example like just to, like just to give an example let's say a farmer actually wins you know lottery and he you know he gets a ferrari car now like farmer decides to you know use ferrari car you know on his farmland to plow the fields so uh, what do you think of him you know i'm sure you know you think of him as a fool because you know he's got like best machine but he's making you know very bad use of it so so we are all ferraris and uh, you know hope we are not plowing land uh, and and put it to the to the right use and human life actually is meant for higher pleasures so the reason i use ferrari is that you know it is a higher level of pleasure uh, so we should actually access that So animal life is tractor, human life is Ferrari. So now I think we will also discuss. So first study, first section we discussed how are we different from animals, right? Now we also discussed that we are all trying to be happy. I don't think anybody you know wants to be to be not happy. And the goal of most of our activities are to be happy. but what stops us from being happy any what do you guys think what stops us from being happy external internal miseries you know now environmental or internal yeah that is true problems so problems actually stop us being from being happy so what are the problems of this life bataiye aap sab log bataiye everybody we can participate in this so now namita i think you said what is the problem uh few problem anybody else wanting to share problems of life 
it can be some relationships not going well either with family or with uh, uh, bosses or colleagues uh, or anyone else absolutely absolutely that is yes that is that is a problem and i think yeah so health issues yes maybe health issues is a big problem to deal with so there are i think i'm sure there are many many problems you know we can we can come up with and um, and i'm sure you know we are dealing with on almost every day basis lot of problems ourselves and we are seeing lot of people struggling with with their problems that's the the other bit so i think if you think about the problems of this world you know there are two types of problems one is relative problem second is real problems so relative problem would be something which is a problem for one person but not a problem for other right yes work problems correct correct so so for example here the example you know like we are using is let's say dentist and toothache if i have toothache it's a problem for me but not for dentist right similarly if it's raining then you know it's good news for umbrella seller but for vegetable or fruit seller it's not such a such a great news so these are i'm just using this example to explain that you know one man's food is another man's poison that is a relative problem and then what are the real problems the definition of real problems is cnn common to all all means everyone okay nobody can you know kind of avoid it that is also one of the definition and no one wants it so that that is the so for example toothache dentist wants right uh, and something like those you know for example a court case you know uh, or something else divorce so uh, you know like the family member definitely don't want such situation but you know for lawyer it's okay it's, it's business but this real problem should not be something uh, which anybody wants now what is bhagavad gita saying here is in chapter 13 it says four real problems janma mrityu jara vyadhi okay now english okay let me do the english first janma we know right birth mrityu is death jara is old age and vyadhi is disease birth old age disease right and uh, death these are the four problems as per bhagavad gita now i think so many of you would have heard about the story of you know siddhartha so when prince siddhartha was young he was uh, like uh, his father actually you know went to astrologer and astrologer basically uh, said that this person uh, will become a great king but he can also you know renounce the world so just be careful around him so the father you know as, as you know is you know he kept siddhartha always inside the castle and in in the castle he would not allow any misery any suffering even not even an old man to enter and he kept you know for many years uh, uh, like protecting him from the realities of of the world and one day it happened that you know prince siddhartha went out of the of the castle and he saw uh, an old man wrinkled face very weak and he asked you know his charioteer about what, what is this who is this and the charioteer said that you know this is old man and this happens to everyone this is old age and then again he went ahead and he saw somebody you know suffering from a deadly disease and again i think the answer was this is disease and everybody gets you know disease this is no one can can you know avoid this and then further he went and he saw four people carrying you know one man and like siddhartha never actually saw death before that and then he was surprised that what is this and charita said that you know this is the ultimate you know death which happens to everyone so while you know we've heard this story many times so it doesn't appear you know very uh, you know informative for us but for somebody uh, you know who's never seen any suffering and if you were to see something like this it was an awakening moment and we know you know what happened actually after that so these are the the, the real problems and 
now i think lot of you know uh, people won't be agree that birth is a problem right and uh, because birth is also very positive you know for like human civilization or families or relationship but i think the underlying of birth is very painful for the child for the mother and uh, the child in the womb is congested you know no skin worms biting you know spices you know uh, hurting and very very narrow you know passage for mothers the labor pain etc is extremely you know painful and the most important part of birth is you know once hopefully once we have completed bhagavad gita we will we'll realize is coming to this world is the biggest problem you know why birth is is one of the four problems so so we will we'll come to that again anyways on, on birth birth is is a real problem then and nobody can avoid birth correct i don't think we choose you know to born at least from from this level old age i think nobody can avoid this and you know there, there is this story which sometimes we discuss is you know uh there was a son who was taking you know his old father to an old age home because you know, he couldn't you know manage uh, him at 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 his place and uh, at some point in time the father is you know on, on his way to old age home father said i am feeling thirsty and the son basically stopped the car at at a place you know brought brought juice for him and uh, you know they they both sat you know on a on a chair there and uh, the father actually you know like started crying and uh, the son says you know don't worry father i'll keep coming to meet you don't worry about this they'll take care of you and all and the father said no no i'm not crying for this i'm crying because this is exact the same spot where i you know i offered juice to my father uh, and uh, that is you know so the, so the son of course realizes his mistake but uh, the point is we can't avoid old age there is so much uh, and i am sure you know deepak sir can add it here i mean i am still talking theoretical but after 40 i can see you know what can come through in the next 10 15 years for me from from you know the the kind of um, uh, discomfort you know the old age actually brings in so this is this then yeah i think old age is is tough uh, again i think three people you know were talking uh, three old you know friends were talking that you know i'm 70 years old you know it's so difficult to pass water and they were discussing their problem then the other said i'm 75 year old so difficult you know to pass stool every day i take so many laxatives so many things but you know my bowels are not clean and then the other friend says you know i am 80 years old you know 6 am sharp i pass water 7 am sharp i pass you know my stool and 8 am sharp i wake up so that is that is the reality uh, you know of, of life and we just can't avoid this old age uh, so yeah but but we need to figure out a solution for this right and disease i think we know uh, every you know second person has got a back ache now even in his 40s there are like diabetes you know disease so much uh, you know disease is already going on i mean forget about corona and all already we had so many problems actually nobody can avoid it again nobody wants it and death so death i think uh, uh, looks like a peaceful solution to lot of our problems uh, if we believe that you know we have led a very you know content life uh, but otherwise death for most people is very very difficult it's because you know, it, it is said actually in garuda puran that 42000 scorpions you know are biting together that is the amount of pain one goes through and not because like in reality those ha- things happen of course because we are so attached to our body and we are so attached to our family and what we created let's say somebody has got you know big name very high you know position uh, and you know he feels that you know if i die everything will go away you know just like this and you know then they'll be worried about their family members and 
So there is a lot of attachment that causes pain at the time of death. And everyone is afraid of death. Still, a lot of scientific research is going on, but we can't avoid death yet. So that is that is the those are the four you know real problems. Then there are three other problems which are described in Bhagavad Gita, which is you know part of it is overlapping, but it's like Adi Atmika, which is problems caused by our own mind and body. You can argue them. Some some are like disease. Some are like uh, you know uh, some mental you know stress, depression, etc. Or somebody insults us, then you know we get furious. Our mind basically gets agitated. Then Adi Bhotik, which is other living entities, which could be relatives, which could be our boss, which could be a mosquito, yeah, correct? Or or some family member, very close family member going through you know troubles. So that I think you know also causes pain and suffering. And lastly, it is Adi Devik, which is natural disasters, which you all know of, right? Tsunamis, earthquakes, etc. So these are the seven unavoidable problems. Now, real problems, right? So now we have our own definition of happiness in general, right? So I am just using, you know, Albert Einstein quote here, but. Uh, so everybody has you know its own definition of happiness and you know they basically try to to keep themselves you know satisfied with that but if you were to think about scriptures there are two types of happiness one is relative second is real or permanent happiness temporary happiness we will we'll get by solving relative problems which is we discuss right that one man's food is another man's poison kind of situation Real and permanent happiness we can get only by solving real problems. So those seven problems, right, we discussed, which were birth, old age, disease, death, adhyatmic, adibhotik, adidevik. We no one can avoid, no one wants, but happens with still everyone. What is real? I think so. I like this quote from from Matrix. How do you define real? If you are talking about what you can feel, what you can smell, taste and see, then real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. And that is exactly what I feel about what we think reality is. So now I think let's, uh, let, let's introspect what kind of happiness we are looking for. Any volunteers? Oui. Anybody wants to offer any any suggestion that what kind of happiness we should be looking for? One answer I give you is permanent, right? That is something. Yeah. What should be the definition of real happiness? Okay. Let me. So it has to be permanent. It shouldn't be like you know, आधा घंटे का खुशी और दस घंटे का सजा, right? तो बारह घंटे ऑफिस में काम करो, क्लाइंट को संभालो, बॉस को संभालो, घर आओ, एक घंटे यू गेट टाइम विथ फैमिली आ मजा आ गया. That is generally I'm just saying that is the that is not permanent. I'm just saying that is not permanent. That is our situation unfortunately, but that is not permanent. Second is ever increasing. The real happiness would be ever increasing. Okay, ऐसा नहीं है कि आपने एक छोला भटूरा खाया, दूसरा छोला भटूरा खाया तो you are not happy in the second one, less happy. Third में you like stop being happy. Fourth में you actually want to go to doctor. ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए. That should keep increasing, increasing, increasing happiness in 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 whatever we are trying to offer. Third is we should be able to share that with loved ones this is the most important one this is actually what touched me uh, because kya hota hai ki humne you know let's say for example we got qualified we are professionally successful you know we are doing maybe you know well in our life we've done all that next generation ko fir struggle hi karna hai similarly you know we let's say we you know uh, by god's grace we have very healthy you know relationships with spouse with other members of members of family 
but so many people i know like you know in my own family so many issues in life and there is no real solution to that but yeah if if you can share you know it with loved ones then that should be real happiness and fourth would be variety so this is this <clears throat> do we want it i hope we all should want it now <clears throat> how should we go about it so let's just understand this you know with a with a story let's say a, a boy develops boils on his hand you know then he goes to let's say doctor the doctor gives him you know a, a you know pain pain relieving ointment for boils etc then the boil actually you know sprung you know in on his leg then he applies the ointment then it comes on his chest then applies the ointment then comes on face all over his body actually so he's been doing that but you know the the boils are recurring now he goes to another doctor and the other doctor you know says that okay i think there is a problem in your blood you know you need to purify so why don't you try something like a blood purifier and that solves the problem so we should be clear whether we are trying to look for a superficial painkiller kind of solution or we are actually looking for a more permanent solution now there are benefits of painkiller right because <clears throat> Uh, so 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 be between painkiller and medicine i think i'm just using the word medicine you know is like permanent you know which can cure permanent disease so painkiller is easily available instant relief right but it has side effects and it doesn't give you permanent cure so painkiller the reason we are using the word painkiller here is so that we can discuss more you know when we think about what are the painkiller solutions and what are the real medicine solutions Now, what are the three kinds of painkillers which are available right now, offered by the modern civilization? Three S: scientific advancement in sense gratification. Second is speculation, which is mental speculation, mental tricks. Third is superficial religious rituals. So these are the solutions which are easily available right now, and that's why we are calling it painkiller. And instant relief, or you know, they give you immediate pleasure or, or peace. So now, if you think about, like, like, so, so, I know, you know, from like, and you also all know, over the years, the physical comforts of human being have actually only gone up compared to whatever was there hundred years ago, whatever was there two hundred years ago. So people were, let's say, you know, working in, a, you know, under a lamp, you know, uh, under a, you know, like the, the oil lamp. Now you have electricity. People were using, let's say, horse carts. or bullock carts and now you have automobiles and they are faster people you know now have mobile phones so all this you know so the material advancement has increased uh, the sophistication and the physical comfort of human beings right but it is actually not solved the real problems and i'll tell you in fact like lot of the solutions are so superficial that it doesn't you know go deeper it only gives you sensual pleasure at best so so what 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 we are all trying to do as a society or human society is we are just trying to forget the real problems which is birth old age disease and death and all the other three and we are just basically busy with our mobile phones or whatever you know want to call it netflix or anything else you know for that matter our bank balance is giving us satisfaction so but i think material advancement in all has also led to lot of other problems so this is like one of one of the many right where the tv is where you know uh, the men were thin and the tv is where broad now i think we have the opposite and all like so so there is so much of gadgets you know very refined food you know entertainment social you know uh, you know access connect all this actually has kept us you know engaged i would say you know and and in in a way i feel that it is you know kept us distracted because we all want to be distracted from the daily pains the stress the you know all the anxiety which comes up with the job with sometimes family sometimes relatives <clears throat> like you know people i think you know feel comfort in in drinking alcohol because it you know, relaxes them and like 
medicines actually you know for good health and uh, so but yeah we have disease medicines for disease but there are side effects so this is advancement i'm just basically talking about the advancement in so human society right whether it has led to real happiness or whether it has increased our happiness or no so for example if i were to ask you know any of you which country is the most advanced in terms of wealth money power scientific advancement liberal society which country you think is the most advanced कोई डाउट नाम में समय लग रहा है नहीं बताओ अमेरिका तो नहीं है विशाल प्रभु जी हम कहा स्नो में फंसे हुए हैं ना परिवार है ना कुछ है नमिता साउथ में देर इज अ टेम्पल फॉर वीजा बालाजी ठीक है तो सो पीपल पीपल यू नो बिफोर अप्लाइंग फॉर अमेरिकन वीजा दे गो टू द टेम्पल ऑफ वीजा बालाजी टू गेट द वीजा ओके जब वीजा मिल जाता है ना फिर ये यहाँ स्नो में फंस जाते हैं ना तब समझ में आता है कि इंडिया में क्या छोड़ के आए हाँ तो वो आपके जैसे कुछ विरले लोग है <laughs> who are actually you know so connected to the roots, but यहाँ पे line लगी हुई है करेक्ट like कभी भी American embassy के बाहर जाके हम देखते हैं हमारे पास में ऑफिस के क्यों लगी होती है किसी को पूछना कभी भी बच्चे को क्या करने का है पहले आई आई टी करेगा फिर अमेरिका जाएगा या यू नो मतलब बेसिकली अभी कुछ साल पहले तक तो सिर्फ वही था दैट वॉज द प्लान फॉर किड्स He will do IIT and he will go to America. I am using US as an example because the data is easily available. I am sure most of the European countries are also equally measurable, if not more. So the most advanced, you know, country in terms of you know wealth, power, scientific, you know, sophistication. There is, I don't think the people are actually you know happy there. You know, if you look at the data, and uh, you know, one out of this is the data you know which I collected, and like one out of every six individual. Had major depressive episode in in like between eighteen and twenty five. Then twenty three percent females, you know, adolescent female. I mean, why why adolescent female has to be depressed? But I'm sure the society is like that. Suicide cases among females actually have gone up significantly. There relationship issues, right? Sixty seven percent of the first marriages gets terminated by them. Sixty seven percent. And 60% of the second marriages also get terminated, and 73% of third marriage also gets you know into divorce. The average marriage ends in divorce, right? Last about eight years. Okay, anyway, this is the divorced you know number. But this again tells you that people are like so. The material sophistication is not giving them happiness. That's my you know point. Uh, and you also made that point, Amita, but you know not not to that extent. And and i am again using you know michael jackson as a as a guinea pig here uh, because whatever one could actually dream you know uh, he actually had got and uh, you know everybody average person actually wants you know a house uh, you know a decent salary you know some financial security i think this guy had like he he married to elvis presley's daughter okay he Like he got some 500 million, you know, 400 million records sold. He made some, you know, 500 million dollar net worth. So no money problem, no fame problem. But he was like, you know, constantly on drugs, correct? So that quest of happiness, you know, it's it's everywhere. And um, unfortunately, you know, our society has put us on a track that, uh, yeah, like name, fame, money, power, you know, that gives happiness. That's you know generally the the track. Which which everybody has, and whether we accept it, you know, publicly or no, we actually all relate happiness to money. We feel more money means more happiness. For some people, you know, you can say that more money means peace of mind and therefore happiness. So, but for lot of people, I think there is the chase never ends. 
so this is this guy had had a miserable life you know think about like parveen babi i think for for those you would know you know like she was you know famous actress uh, worked with amitabh bachchan in so many movies and she had like some die hard fans you know in in her prime years like some you know one time she got kidnapped you know by i think they were they were somewhere in mp or some other chatisgarh some place and the tribal actually kidnapped you know her uh, and and uh, who was the sardar actually you know he wanted parveen babi to autograph on his hand so, so that kind of craze you know she had and when she died you know in her juhu flat like her body was found after 4 or 5 days and there was no one with her in in her last years and her family rejected her and all that you know so many nonsense going on so i'm just you know trying to emphasize the point that and and why i'm saying this is you know a lot of us actually are already matured you know we have seen life you know 40 50 years you know in that age some of you are in in 30s but you know generally all our kids will also do that and we will have to make that choice for them or at least guide them or coach them that this you know is not the the way to to you know or at least the way to happiness so yeah I, okay yeah yeah so let's uh, move to the next one which is the superficial you know uh, <clears throat> mental tricks right so there's so many things available right now laughter therapy self help books positive thinking nlp you know neuro linguistic programming and meditation yoga nothing is wrong okay so don't get me you know wrong here that i'm not saying that this you should not you know use this but this will this is not the real solution that is the only thing you know i'm trying this is this is basically this gives you temporary relief uh, from the anxiety or the angst you one may have but this will not solve your real problems so this is something i picked up during corona so this is about the the mental tricks or or you know artificial solutions so people with faith you know may have different way of thinking and then i think a uh, lot of religious rituals especially in india right so we have so many puja paath ye kar lo dham yatra kar lete hain you know some baba ji guru ji you know so so that is and it's better than not having faith at all but that also because it is not deep you know it is not internalized by us it doesn't help us it only i don't know it just gives you feel good for some time that oh maine puja kara di aaj maine aaj yagya karaya ghar mein apne and all that so it has again i mean as per bhagavad gita it has limited use it's not nonsense but limited use so just a quick recap what we discussed we discussed what is common between human beings and animals four things sleeping eating enjoying and defending seed what is the differences dharma and dharma we understood in four types a b c d ability for higher inquiry b bliss c choice d determination then we discussed our real problems real problems is body birth old age disease and you can why uh death actually yamaraj but yeah death and uh, then other three which is misery is caused by our own mind and body then misery is caused by <coughs> other living beings and lastly natural disturbances so those are the real problems we are trying to solve for temporary solutions we discussed it is triple s which is uh, the sense gratification which is available <clears throat> through scientific advancement then second was uh, sup- uh, the uh, superficial and you know mental tricks and lastly was rituals now what is actually wrong in our quest so first of all do you okay i'll ask that question later so what is going wrong in our quest so we are actually looking for the right thing but at the wrong place so for example in the desert when there is like somebody wants water desperately 
he or she actually sees water you know wherever like they call it mirage right wherever they see you know the the sun shining on the sand so they desperately go to that place but they find that it's only sand there is no water but the conception of water is right water exists what does not exist is it doesn't exist in the desert it is just the mirage there and uh, you know another like you know another you know i'm just telling you know another story to just make the point clear is the one man was you know one night one man was frantically looking for something under a lamp post and uh, you know the policeman came there and he asked you know what are you searching so desperately you know let me help you he said no my you know i lost my diamond ring uh, and was looking for it and you know they were the police also started looking for it and then police asked you know you remember where you lost it so then the man said yeah i know i know i actually lost it in i think in, in the park the police said why are you searching here so the man said you know because light is better here so you know i i hope you get the point i'm trying to make that we are looking for the right thing but in the wrong place now where do you get knowledge what do you call the place where you get knowledge vidya lai right what do you call a place where you get alcohol बताइए एनीवन प्लेस वेर यू गेट अल्कोहल क्या कहते हैं उसको संस्कृत में बेसिकली हम सेइंग इन हिंदी युद्ध हिंदी और संस्कृत विशाल इज इट मधुशाला यस इट इज बेसिकली मधुराला है सो मधुशाला इज आल्सो राइट मधुशाला इज इज फेमस वर्ड इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड मधुराला है करेक्ट एंड वेर डू यू गेट वेर डू कैन यू नो गेट बुक्स place where you get books pustakalay right or granthalay right now krishna actually spoke about this word in 8th chapter verse 15 that this world is defined as dukkhalayam asashvatam so he is calling this world as dukkhalay so as per bhagavad gita the world is dukkhalay what should we mean by that like then then what should we expect in this world if it is called dukkhalay that this place is full of misery by design or at least as per bhagavad gita this place is full of misery and also this place is temporary that is also very important you know point to make from here asashvatam temporary and when i say temporary that means there is a permanent place also right if this is temporary and if this is place of misery there must be some place you know which would not be of misery so yeah we have come to the conclusion that this place is full of misery so don't expect happiness here then where shall we go so let me tell you one simple story once upon a time near the coast of newfoundland there was a radio conversation which was happening you know uh, took place on 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 a us naval ship so us naval ship actually says uh, actually announced so so they basically they basically saw uh, one light and uh, the captain actually asked uh, that you know what is this you know the, the, so, so so the captain was informed that there is a light you know very close to our, our ship uh, what should we do so then they basically started you know radio conversation with the with the source Say you know so the U.S. naval ship actually ordered that please divert your course 15 degrees you know to the north to avoid a collision. And the other side said recommend you to divert your course 15 degrees to south to avoid a collision. So now U.S. naval ship you know the captain got very angry. He says this is the captain of a U.S. navy ship. I say again divert your course. 
and so this this conversation was you know going on and then the other side said that we are talking from a lighthouse so please divert your course and correct your course so that you know sometimes you know happen with us also we also need a course correction and uh, when we say where shall we go i think we clearly need to do introspect and do a course correction now if you think about happiness now coming back from dukkhalay back to happiness right so i hope the point is very clear that this world is dukkhalay so expecting happiness in this world or through this world it's you know we are completely going against the manual of the world then correct ki agar aap washing machine mein bartan dal denge to nahi dhul sakte machine bhi kharab hogi bartan bhi kharab ho sakte hai correct so follow the manual right the manual says is dukkhal hai let us stop searching for sukh here then let us coming back to happiness now happiness actually is a by product of love so whenever we try, like and i'm sure we all know that like in in our all our interactions or our activities where there is love we actually experience happiness whether we love the food or we love the person correct activity may remain the same so for example if if somebody is you know in every 2 hours if somebody is you know troubling you like not allowing you to sleep you know uh, calling out your name and you know you again and again and again you have to wake up you you know and basically spend time on that person that is not a happiness situation but because if it is a 6 month old baby you know you still do it and that gives you happiness because there is love so love is very important to you know and love is the source of happiness that is first thing you know we need to uh, absorb and, and internalize uh, and we all actually have infinite love inside our hearts like we don't even know that that much love we actually already have inside us the problem is the projection of that love on this world actually has hurt us so much that we basically are become you know like protective of ourselves so we don't allow you know our love to just flow freely on everyone and uh, and and so therefore you know we need somebody who can reciprocate with us you know on on that infinite love inside us and uh, so so love is not simply a feeling so it's not like i love you i love you like dur se dekh raha hu or you know like just by seeing somebody and keep saying the other person also keep saying and they you know like from a distance they keep talking only on this love actually is a verb you know it's an activity love actually follows service you know you do something for the person or you know uh, for the person you actually love because that is where you know you have the feeling of gratitude and joy so the, again very abstract right now but uh, just trying to make a point that happiness actually comes from love and we all have that capacity now i'll just use another story to explain this you know point so there was a very rich man and somehow you know his little son actually got lost uh, and uh, the small boy you know he was crying on the road one you know passed by saw this boy crying and he said you know, let me help him and he offered him some food some drinks some you know like little bit of you know clothing he was you know so the boy felt nice for some time you know but in few hours again he started crying and then man you know felt helpless that you know what do i do the other guy came he saw this boy you know again crying he said okay let me help you then he told him some nice stories some magic tricks some distractions here and there and you know the boy was actually entertained for some more time फिर दो घंटे तीन घंटे में अगेन स्टार्टेड क्राइंग थर्ड पेयर पर्सन गेम ही जेड ओके ही गेव सम यू नो लाइक लंबा लंबा फेक के ही वॉज गिविंग सम यू नो अगेन स्टोरी इज बट यू नो लाइक मेकिंग इट लाइक रियल टू दिस बॉय दैट यू नो वी विल डू दिस फॉर यू विल डू दैट फॉर यू ये करेंगे वो करेंगे वहाँ ले जाऊँगा ये कराऊँगा ऑल दैट यू नो ज्ञान ही गेव एंड दैट ऑल्सो एंटरटेन द बॉय फॉर सम टाइम बट अगेन यू नो ही स्टार्टेड क्राइंग and in the meantime 
the father, the billionaire father of this boy, and he advertised, you know, about his lost son. And one person who, you know, basically knew his father, when he was going through the same road, he saw that the boy, this boy is the same lost boy. And he took the boy back to his father. And, uh, and the boy, I think, you know, like that was the only time the boy basically got fully, you know, satisfied. So he got food. He got food from his father also. He got shelter, clothing, everything from his father. But, you know, the connection or the security, you know, which he got through his father, I think that, that makes him happy or satisfied. So we are actually all, you know, actually like that lost son of a billionaire father. So we got, you know, uh, digressed and uh, we need to go back and connect, you know, back to our father God. And that only can give us real happiness or true happiness. And there would be lots and lots we will discuss in other, you know, sessions, which will throw more light on why we should do that, you know, more urgently than, than what we are doing. The last point I think I want to make is, is the real happiness only for a select few? It's like only Mukesh, Ammani, Bill Gates or Jeff Bezos, let's say. So they deserve, you know, to be happy or anybody you think of, Virat Kohli, any other. So, you know, there was a balloon, you know, seller and, uh, and he had all kinds of colors of balloons. So one man went and said, and like, oh, the urne wale balloon, right? So he had green, he had red, he had, you know, black. And the, so this person asked, you know, ye kala wala udega kya? So the balloon guy said, yeah, of course udega. Why? Because it's the internal which matters, not the external color of the balloon. Right? The gas to under dala hai, that makes the balloon fly. So we all have the same gas inside us, you know, irrespective of the color, the gender, the financial situation, any situation for that matter. So all of us actually have, you know, the same uh, right to be, you know, really happy because we are all made of the same spiritual content, which we will discuss in the next session where we discuss who am I? What is our real identity and that, you know, help us connect more, more on this. But uh, very happy if you have any questions uh, on this.